Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. Today I will share with you top Civil Engineering Objective Type questions with answers which are very new and selected. This will help you to crack interviews and routine exams. So if you are new to my channel then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. So without wasting the time, let's get started. So the first question, what should you do if you witness a potential safety hazard on the construction site? Option A, ignore it. Someone else will take care of it. Option B, report it to your supervisor or the safety officer. Option C, attempt to fix it yourself. Option D, continue working without taking any action. So the answer is report it to your supervisor or the safety officer. Next, which construction material is known for its durability, fire resistance and commonly used in structural applications option a plywood option b glass option c concrete and uh, option d vinyl flooring so the answer is option c concrete next what should you do if you discover a defect in construction materials delivered to the site option a Ignore it and use the material as it is. Option B. Immediately notify the supplier and request replacement. Option C. Attempt to repair the defect on site. Option C. Wait until the defect becomes a safety issue before taking action. So answer is immediately notify the supplier and request replacements. Next uh, fourth question, what type of foundation is often used in areas with expensive clay soils to prevent structural damage? Option A, wrapped foundation. Option B, pile foundation. Option C, pile foundation. And option D, slab foundation. So the answer is option B, pile foundation. Next, which of the following safety precautions is crucial when working at heights? Wearing headphones to listen to music while working. Using proper fall protection equipment. Stacking materials haphazardly to save times. Ignoring guardrails and safety nets. So option B, using proper fall protection equipment. Next, what is the primary role of a project manager in construction? Option A, operating heavy machinery on site. Monitoring, option B, monitoring the budget and expenses. Option C, handling all administrative tasks. tasks. Option D, conducting safety inspections. So, answer is option B, monitoring the budget and expenses. This is the primary role of project manager. Next, seventh, what should be done when encountering an unexpected change in the project plan? Option A, continue as planned, ignoring the change. Option B, immediately stop work and report the change to the authorities. Option C, implement the change without consulting anyone. Option D, document the change. Inform the project manager and follow the proper procedure. So the answer is option D. Document the change. Inform the project manager and follow the proper procedure. Next, what is the purpose of shear walls in a building structural system? To provide natural lightning and ventilation. Option B. To resist lateral forces such as wind and earthquakes. Option C. To su support the roof and floors, option D, to enhance the building's aesthetic. So, answer is to resist lateral forces such as wind and earthquakes. 
how can construction sites contribute to environmental sustainability option a by ignoring environmental regulations to save time and money option b by using excessive amounts of water and energy option c by implementing green building practices and minimizing waste option d by disregarding local wildlife and ecosystems so the answer is option c by implementing green building practices and minimizing waste now what is green building i will make a separate video about it so next question number 10 what is the primary purpose of a tuned mass damper in a building uh, to control the temperature inside the building to absorb seismic forces and reduce building sway to provide structural stability option d to improve natural lighting so the answer is to absorb seismic forces and reduce building sway 11th what is the purpose of slum test in concrete quality control to measure the density of concrete option a option b to determine the water cement ratio option c to assess the workability of concrete option d to test concrete compressive strength so the answer is to assess the workability of concrete 12 what is the primary function of a retaining wall in civil engineering option a to support roof loads option b to provide privacy of properties option c to prevent soil erosion and slope instability to enhance the aesthetic appeal of a structure so the answer is to prevent soil erosion and slope instability next 13th uh, question what type of soil has the smallest particle size and retain the most water option a sand option b silt option c clay and option d gravel so the answer is option c clay in structural engineering what does the term moment of inertia refer to option a structural beams resistance to bending option b the point at which a structure is most stable option c the point where forces are <coughs> evenly sorry distributed a measure of a structure's seismic performances option a a structural beams resistance to bending what is the purpose of geotechnical investigation in construction project to analyze traffic patterns around the construction site option a option b to assess the structural integrity of existing buildings option c to in investigate the soil and subsurface conditions at the site option d to determine the availability of construction materials so the answer is to investigate the soil and subsurface conditions at the sites so these are these are the 15 questions which are which i have selected which are uh very new and commonly asked in private uh civil engineering uh organizations and uh, government routine exams also so i hope it will help you and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like share and comment